Hello everyone. I just want to make a part two to the rant about the economy that I uploaded recently. So <clears throat> I was going to complain about Trump's chief economic advisor and the first one telling you guys like make sure he doesn't get a Keynesian in there, you know, or a Marxist. And well, luckily he didn't, but he I was researching about his new chief economic advisor and <clears throat> it looks like he's not Austrian he's not from the Austrian school of thought he's a supply side economist and although it looks like he's pretty good like <clears throat> as far as when it comes to the Federal Reserve that he's wary of it I would say uh, that he might not be the best choice because he's like a TV economist. He's, you know, he does a lot of appearances on TV. So I would probably say he might not be the best choice. I'm not saying he's bad, but I don't think he's going to be good. And then second thing, the omnibus bill. What, what was Trump thinking? You could tell. You could tell Trump didn't want to sign it. He did not want to sign it. And frankly, it just it's it's shameful. It's disappointing. Everyone is calling out Trump. Every Republican, every conservative Republican that is <clears throat> is calling out Donald Trump. Rand Paul, you know, um what's her face? The one that's that was a big Trump fan, you know. God, what was her name? I don't know. Ben Shapiro. Uh, you know. So many people are calling out Trump for passing this $1.3 trillion bill. And, you know, this comes at a point when the national budget, the national debt, I mean, is at $21 trillion. So... I'm here thinking, what is Trump doing? You know, his chief economic advisor is evidently not doing anything. Trump is just didn't want to do it. He he was too afraid of gambling away the military budget <clears throat> that he signed it anyways. He did not want to gamble the national... Uh, the military budget and he did not want to gamble what border patrol border control there was you know and i would say from what i've heard the border control part of the spending bill is very very small very sad it's like less than one billion or something like that i'm not quite exactly sure how much it was but I heard it was a pretty small number. So, you know, I just, it's disappointing, you know. And then, what else? It's like, you know, I'm just hoping it all works out. I'm just hoping that the American economy can stay together for just long enough that the next fiscal year comes around and that Congress passes a smaller budget. Congress has to pass a $900 billion budget or smaller because if they pass another $1 trillion or bigger spending bill, it's not going to be pretty. China is going to default on us. You know, our economy is going to crash. And, you know, and this is the worst time to have a budget, a national, or a deficit, a debt, you know, is when Trump is driving us head on into a trade war and we can't even compete against the people we're fighting against because they owe so much of our debt. China. We're fighting China with one, $1 trillion dollars in debt. Now, in what world does that make sense? That's like competing <clears throat> against Amazon or Walmart or McDonald's when you owe one million dollars to them. Like that's not, that doesn't make sense. They could just foreclose you. They could call the 
FD, not FDA, they could call the Federal Collection Agency, you know, and get you shut down. And that's what China can do. That is essentially what China can do to the American economy. They can call in, they can say, hey, America is not paying its debt. And the rest of the world economies are going to respond exactly the same way China will. They will say, <clears throat> we are not going to trade with America. We are not going to buy American because the American economy is not reliable. America does not pay its debts back. And you know, it just, it's dumb. It's dumb on Trump's part. Trump is trying to bring peace and control in the Korean region while fighting China. <clears throat> while we also have a debt that we owe to China. So it's like hectic. You can't go face first into a war, a trade war, even a hypothetical war with this ridiculous level of debt, you know? It, it just baffles my mind. It baffles my mind. Because <clears throat> all China has to do is tell our European allies, all they have to do is tell Israel, tell Korea, tell other countries that America is not reliable at paying off its debt and therefore the American dollar is worthless. And that would crush our economy overnight. You know, we don't need hackers or, you know, this big EMP to wipe out our energy grid system. All China has to do is say America's economy is worthless and we're going to crash overnight. We're going to die. We're going to be riding in the streets. There's going to be a civil war if we don't do something about this. And... You know, I know this sounds dystopian, I sound like some crazy exaggeration, you know. It could happen, folks. It could. And that's the scary part. It could happen. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that China says, okay, you know, yeah, we've kind of been screwing over America a little bit, so we'll give them this little room for the trade war. We'll give you, you know, Apple back or something. But, you know, we can't keep on pushing this edgy, you know, this, we're pushing the edge of America's economy. We can't grow any bigger as far as our national debt. And we can't print any more as far as the national, uh, as far as the Federal Reserve. Because if we're trying to push the economy any further, it's going to collapse on us, folks. It's going to be bigger than Nazi than, than Germany's hyperinflation. Venezuela, Zimbabwe, they're going to look like jokes in comparison to what America is. <clears throat> like, America's economy could crash so drastically that uh, America will never be a country again. The concept of America as a country will never happen again. People will seize our lands. They will claim all our assets and resources, you know. And without a military, without econ an economy, you know, with our currency worthless, there's two things that are going to happen. Either we're going to stand by and die while Russians and the Chinese and U the Europeans all come over and try to take our land and claim everything, claim all our resources, marching in with imperial forces, or we're going to stand up strong, we're going to say, hey, fuck this shit, we're not going to let the Germans, the, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Russians, the Canadians, the Mexicans, we're not going to let them invade our country. They're not going to take over our economy. We have to pay down our debts. We have to pay back the things we owe. No more credit cards, folks. No more credit cards. If you own a credit card, burn it. If you own a social security card, I would say burn it, but that's probably a crime, so don't burn it. And unfortunately, social security is so essential. Essential to live. You need social security. <sighs> and I, I think it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. Why do we need... <clears throat> 
this stupid piece of paper made in like the 1930s to get a job. Why do we need social security to be employed? I don't know what I'm going off about, but I'm pissed. I'm angry. I'm angry about the national debt. I'm angry about $21 trillion in debt. I'm angry that people like me have to work every day, earn shitty wages, while other countries, they are going to suck off our teeth for the rest of our lives. We're going to have a nation with shitload of immigrants, low wages, folks. If we continue down this path, <clears throat> our wages, they say fight for 15. How about fight for 15 trillion less dollars in debt? How about that instead of fighting for 15? That's three more dollars of California's minimum wage. And you know what those three extra dollars are going to do to California's economy and the American economy? It's going to destroy it. All the workers of California today and less than five years you are going to see every worker in california either replaced by a migrant or a robot and this is the future i'm telling you this is the future you will not see the state of california the way it used to be it will be in chaos it will be hectic and on top of that as far as threats to california all North Korea has to do is drop one EMP, one nuclear bomb, onto a tiny fraction of California's electronic infrastructure, and you destroy the whole state. You, you just have to destroy a fraction of our crops, and there goes our economy. You have to destroy Hollywood. You just do one of those little things, and that will collapse America by itself, honestly. It just... It frustrates me how we let California be so weak, so open to attack. How we let, how our, how Jerry Brown and all the liberal politicians do nothing, are incompetent. We have a homeless problem. We have low wages relative to the price of living. You know, we get taxed so much. Our gas prices are fucking ridiculous. Three dollars a gallon. You know what else costs $3 a gallon? Milk. Milk fucking costs $3 a gallon. We've mass produced milk. We've mass produced oil. It used to be $2. It used to even be $1 in some cases. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I'm pissed. I'm angry as you can tell. $21 trillion is just... It's ridiculous. The Federal Reserve is ridiculous. Our new chief economic advisor for Trump is semi-ridiculous he knows kind of what he's talking about but i wouldn't put i wouldn't put my faith in him i wouldn't say that he's going to tell trump common sense and and bring trump back to economic reality land and i don't know so yeah that's that's my rant i'm angry everything's just chaotic and dystopic you know i'm not saying it has to be i'm saying that there could be hope for us. We could all have a great future. You know, the UBI and, you know, everyone's going to get their retirements. Yay. And, you know, things could be all great. And we could all live in an open country. You know, all the migrants and the robots and the Americans all work together to make a great collective society. Like, that could totally happen, you know. But that's not going to happen. What's going to probably happen if we keep on going down this path is we're going to get taken over by Mexico and robots are going to control our jobs. And even worse, if you want to make it even more dystopian, Mexican robots are going to be our overlords. Our AI overlord is going to speak Spanish. He's going to be like, El Espanol, you make burrito, you fucking worthless piece of shit American. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And that's the dystopian, scary future. To get everyone all in jitters. Like, oh my god, no, not Mexican robots. <sighs> Just the thought that's kind of funny. You know, because there's no fucking way in hell we're going to let ourselves get controlled by Mexican robots. Okay? But yeah, I think that's it for now. Bye.